Hello, my name is Barry Davis. I'm a divorce mediator, and I help keep my clients out of court, keep their children out of the middle, and I help them move on with their lives as quickly as possible. This video is a continuation from the first video that I did on the fundamental aspects of a good parenting plan. And what I'm going to be addressing in this video are four things. Number one, physical and legal custody. Number two, the weekly schedule. Number three, vacations and holidays. And number four, building flexibility into the parenting plan. So let's go back to number one, physical and legal custody. Physical custody is who has responsibility for the children, either directly or indirectly, such as when they're at school. Um, legal custody is who has decision-making capabilities for the children. So generally, this is decision-making for things like medical issues, uh, educational decisions, religious upbringing. So we have physical custody and joint custody. And then what we need to do is we need to address whether both or either of those will be joint or whether they will be sole. The second thing, and one of the most significant things we need to address in a good parenting plan, is the weekly schedule. This is the day-to-day, week-to-week schedule that has a significant impact on both the children and the parents. And what we want to do is rather than doing some cookie-cutter approach where we apply the same model to every family, which is unfortunately what the courts have to do a lot of times, we come up with a customized, individualized parenting schedule that makes sense for both the children and the parents by looking at things like the ch kids' um, school uh, schedule. We look at their activity schedule. We look at the, the parents' work schedule, which parent, uh, if possible, has more flexibility. And we take all these things and we take some established models and we try to come up with a weekly schedule that makes sense for both the parents and the kids and that balances the need to not do more transitions back and forth than the children have to with the, the children's need to see each parent as much as possible. The third thing that we address are holidays and vacation time. The courts call these carve-outs because they're carved out or they supersede the normal weekly schedule. And obviously these are times whenever parents and children get to spend a lot of very significant time together. Uh, they're away from school, they're away from work, so we want to make sure that we do a good job of, of balancing these between the two parents and allowing a, a lot of time for the children with each parent and avoiding stress and tension over who gets the children when. So we deal with all the holidays, the big ones, Christmas, Thanksgiving, spring break, vacation, and we deal with other ones such as Halloween and Fourth of July. And what I like to do is talk to each one of my clients about what vacations and holidays are really important to them. The fourth thing that we want to address are, are some structures for flexibility and change within the parenting plan. One of the primary mechanisms that I use is what I call the flexibility clause which basically says that the parents can change and or deviate from the parenting plan either on a one-time basis or on an ongoing basis as long as they agree ahead of time. And this way we balance out the need for structure and for, for detailed planning ahead of time with the flexibility as long as both parents agree. So this creates the overall balance and the foundation of the parenting plan. So those are definitely not all the different aspects that we cover in a parenting plan, but they are four of the most significant, that being physical and legal custody, the weekly schedule, vacations and holidays, and then building in some structure for flexibility and change. If you'd like to get more information on the additional elements that we cover in a comprehensive, proactive parenting plan, please click on the next video where we talk about things like activities for the children, guardianship if one parent passes, medical emergency language, and many other aspects of a detailed, comprehensive, proactive parenting plan. Thank you so much for listening.